Sponsored by WinWing Technologies. Once again, another bright idea that balances versatility and realism. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. You guys have been requesting a China versus Australia naval battle for many weeks now. You've given me all kinds of requests that you want me to do. Some are in the past, World War II, some are present, some are future. Some are pure naval versus naval, some are naval versus mainland. I can't do them all, so I've selected the one that sounds to me most interesting and most achievable. It is a Chinese carrier strike group from 2010, because that's the only year we have in game, versus an Australia carrier strike group from the future, 2030. You guys tell me, Australia is hoping to procure 24 F-35 Bravo Lightnings and operate them from their two Canberra Class LHDs. The fight is our new style fight. We have a box in the ocean 90 miles by about 60 miles. China fleet is here, Australia fleet is here. Ships are controlled by humans today. Aircraft are controlled by a mixture of AI and humans. Let's go over the forces. Australia. Their navy in real life consists of, in terms of vessels that we care about, carriers, destroyers and frigates, two Canberra-class LHG carriers. Australia has three Hobart-class modern destroyers. Note the armament. 48-cell Mark 41 VLS system with SM2s. And eight Anzac-class frigates. We've got the Mark 41 again, but this time with the RIM-162 ESSM. The best analogue we have for that is the following. Two old American LHAs, they will serve the same purpose as the LHDs for today. On each are 12 F-35Bs. They will be ace skill level and air to air. They will be in stealth configuration, ignore these pylons, they will not be there. They have four AMRAMs in the bomb bays or the weapon bays. This is giving them a stealth radar cross section of 0.8. 005 meters squared, which should be modeled in today's battlefield, for instance, rather than the hostile carriers being able to shoot them at about 50 miles, it will only be able to shoot them at about 15 miles, and it will also cause problems for the Chinese fighters. Second carry up here with another 12 fighters the same. Escort ships. Instead of the Hobards, we've got the nearest thing, which is going to be Ali Burke. They are pretty similar to the Hobart, about the same size. They've got an Aegis type sensor system. They've got the Mark 41 VLS, the same as the Hobart. They fire the SM2, the same as the Hobart, near enough for the Hobart today. Three of them. Next, the Anzac frigate. The best I've got is an Oliver Hazard Perry. Instead of Mark 41 VLS with ESSM, we've got old style rail launcher, I think a single rail launcher with SM2. So I think that roughly makes up for the difference between SM2 and ESSM with the arm launcher and the Mark 41. Fingers crossed we should get about the same. Also it has harpoon launchers the same as the Anzac. As well as that they have AWACS and finally are human pilots. They start back here 50 miles behind. The problem is if I put the humans on the carriers with the AI they basically fight each other and it always, always ends badly. So humans are starting 50 miles up behind to simulate taking them off from the carrier. They will have infinite respawns until the battle ends. They have a choice of two F-35s, either the Bravo model air-to-air -air in stealth configuration with just four missiles. He can only carry the four missiles if he's going to go in stealth configuration. Or he can have an air-to-ground option for attacking ships. There are no guided specialist anti-ship weapons for the F-35. In DCS there are sort of in real life, but as far as I'm aware Australia aren't buying them anyway. So for the air-to-ground option, four massive 2,000 pound laser-guided bombs which you can use with its inbuilt targeting system couple of side ones for self-defense and that will be the anti-shipping option. Note this version, I've chosen the alpha model because the Bravo model does not work at the moment for edge of ground, it's not going to make a great deal of difference. Note that this one is not in stealth configuration and will be as visible as a normal 4th gen aircraft. So that's important if you're going to fly the air to ground version around, it is not stealth today. Okay guys, that is the Australians. Let's look at the Chinese. I should say that the orders for the AI aircraft are to take off 
and separate over this line here and just hold that line after that. They will do whatever they want to do. Chinese is our usual 2010 Chinese group. We have A, Kuznetsov playing the Liaoning here. The only real difference between the Liaoning and the Kuznetsov in this case is that the Kuznetsov does have its 20 or so anti-ship missiles and it will fire them. Can't stop that. It's unrealistic, but there's nothing I can do about it. Otherwise, it's near enough the Liaoning. They're actually the same class. On the carrier are 12 anti-ship J-15 aircraft and 12 air-to-air -air J-15 aircraft. So, of the 12 air-to-air, -air, they are armed with a massive array of 10 PL-12s. These are AMRAM-type weapons. And 4 PL-10s. These are AIM-9X-type weapons, modern sidewinders. Uh, they look very much like the Su-33 because they are a re-engineered Su-33. Pretty old tech, but it does the job. Of the anti-ship variants, 12 of those, we have an armament of four harpoon-type weapons. These are the YJ-83K and four uh, hobs for self-defense in terms of orders. Take off as soon as possible. They'll fan out in different directions and the anti-ship will attack the carriers when they see fit to attack the carriers. Defence, 052C, defending the bow, 052B, port and starboard, and 054A, mainly anti-submarine, but also anti-air frigate at the rear. The KJ-2000 AWACS, and today's Chinese humans. They have a choice of three. In this case, they have the fighter variant, J-15. Everything is J-15, obviously. Uh, we do not have the new carrier, the Type 003 in-game, or the J-35 uh, aircraft. PL-12s, PL-10s, or they can have a anti-ship variant, which is similar to how we saw before. YJ-83, there's a good chance that just won't work. I'm not even sure that can be controlled by human. And if it can't, I've allowed them a bombing option. The air to ground is just a bunch of dumb bombs. And that, I'm pretty sure, does work, guys. This is completely untested. I have no idea what's going to happen. So, guys, predictions. We've got China 2010, carry group, which in DCS is a very, very solid group. It beats most things it comes across. Versus Australia, completely untested. It's actually using uh, mixed ages of US assets uh, for the ships and the F-35Bs as the aircraft. Any ideas? Well, considering that uh, everything that the Chinese have is a knockoff, I would think that the cooperation that the US has with the uh, Australian fleet would end up being more powerful and more techn techn technologically advanced. Uh, Roger, Scott says... I agree with that. Are well, you that's... That's real life, but this is DCS, so... <laughs> Roger, also, I've seen so many problems with those F-35s, guys. How many have been crashed now? Uh, humans are today. Scott is here. He is part-time admiral for the Australians and part-time pilot. Armchair is full-time pilot for the Australians. Grump, the day for the Chinese. He's part-time admiral and he's part-time pilot. And Matrix will be turning up late when he dropped his daughter off and he will be helping Grump with the Chinese. Say hello, boys. Hello, hello boys. boys. Off we go. China versus Australia. What will happen? No one knows. Let's go and have a look at uh, Chinese first. We've got the Kuznetsov pretending to be Liaoning with our 24 J-15s. That's the most she can carry. Air to air going up first to unsecure air superiority. Let's go and have a look at the Australians. I may be doing some accents today, we'll have to see. That's our 1980s, 1990s uh, LHA pretending to be a modern Canberra class. Whoa, God. Canberra class LHD. Aircraft taking off vertically, they wouldn't do that in real life. That's just how they work in game. Taking off really quickly. Really frequently, look. 12 from each carrier. Ah, anti-ship missiles out. So we're in the case now where the Chinese vessels have been reprogrammed recently in DCS. And the first thing they now do is salvo all of their Chinese harpoon-type missiles at about 90 miles or further. Uh, as they probably would do in real life, to be honest. So off they go. Lots of them. It's going to come in a massive barrage, and the first thing the Australians need to do is, well, survive that massive barrage. Have a look at their AWACS. AWACSes are not invincible, they are fair game. Let's 
see what today's humans are doing. Matrix is heading in in his J15, maximum speed mode. J15 in real life notoriously underpowered. Always bad for a uh, carrier aircraft without a catapult. Wow, so many lightnings in the air now, look at that. Already 20,000 feet and 27,000 feet for supersonic. Well done, Grumptastic. Let me come and have a look at him. Grumptastic's moving. Right, probably 100 missiles in the air now, which is dangerous. A mixture of YJ-83s and YJ-62s and probably some old Soviet missiles that aren't supposed to be there. No, they're not there. Just the correct ones are firing. That's good. There, that's the one that shouldn't be there, the shipwreck, but I can't do much about that. Major surprise so far is how, well, I don't know if it's a surprise, but how quickly the lightnings have got up. I was not expecting that. I quite enjoy not testing these because then you get surprised about what happens. They've just absolutely, look, absolutely gone for it. Now the only problem is sometimes that can be bad because the AI at the end of the day is friggin' stupid. They'll just go here and orbit like their orders and they'll, they'll get distracted and they'll all just fly into the massive salmon net of the Chinese. Maybe get shot down, I don't know. Uh, again, there's not really much I can do about that. Let's have a look at some of these missiles. Halfway across the, uh, the game board now. Today's fleets are starting about 90 miles away from each other, by the way. These are the extended range uh, YJ 83s. Look, there's the uh, stealth, in stealth configuration, I should say. But look at that, you can actually see them. See a bunch of cons. Yep, that's, that's uh, your boys. Oh, aim 120C, what for? No idea what that's for. That is a lob. Wow, oh, it really is a lob. How far was that away? Oh, uh, maybe not. 30 mile lob. First missile's out already. These lightnings are aggressive. The J 15s have barely taken off. Wow. Four minutes, 26 seconds, and the first missiles have already been lobbed. Just imagine now if these had A120Ds or something. There's Grunt maneuvering his uh, stuff. The rate of launch of the Chinese is very, very low, as, to be honest, it probably would be in real life. These are pretty crappy old carriers for this kind of thing. Literally, Soviet era. First blood, J-15 down. Wow. Yeah, it's me. Oh, it's you. Wow. Uh, well, it's about to be yep. AI as well, because this is a problem. AI can't see the stealth. They've gone right past them. Right past them. Can't see them. Are we allowed to respawn? Yep. Infinite respawns, guys. You all do a lot of dying today, especially against stealths. Ooh, yeah, I sent these out. Now, these stealths can get shot at by the carriers. It's reduced range. It's about 20 miles instead of 50 or 60. But they can be shot. Uh, they're paying for their aggression now. They are evading well so far. And you know what? Dang, it looks like a good show. Wow, they've avoided a massive barrage of Chinese missiles. Massive barrage. Well done, stealth. Look at that. Don't forget, stealths are not in completely stealth. They're just very, very, very low visibility. You can still see them if you're close to them. Jeez, Graham, your ships are going nuts for the stealths. They're kind of wild, wild, supersonic wild weasels. I'm just looking at the missile exchanges here. Yep. This is getting crazy. Look at that. That was nuts. My god, they've all just charged into the ship. Oh, oh no, there's so much to see. And there's this going on. And your SM2s are now going. I'm just going to have to zoom out like this because there's so much going on right now. The fight happens so quick, guys. Right, so far... The yeah, on carrier group. No, are you in an air-to-air -air or air-to-ground? Air-to-air. Roger, you wouldn't be able to get through the hail of missiles at the moment anyway. Oh, uh, I went south around the island. There was only one Chinese fighter in the air that survived to get up. Oh, just shit. Still for reigning so supreme. Doesn't look like he can fire on the stealth. Oh, it's going to be a short match, that's for sure, guys. No, no Chinese fighters up. The Australians are so aggressive today. The Chinese were aggressive with their missiles. The Australians were aggressive with their stealths. And look, missiles going into stuff that's as grumps up in the air, fighting a bunch of stealths. Good luck. Oh, they're shooting the AWACS. Oh, poor old Chinese. AWACS is down. The stealths killed the AWACS. This guy's friggin' insatiable. Yeah. I can't... I can see the, uh... 
F-35s visually, but I can't lock the radar on. The, yeah, and right. The uh, EO's not locking on either. They're just a standoff range outside the carrier, teasing carrier, tossing the occasional missile in. To be honest, that's actually good. They're not going over the carrier and dying. They're actually doing perfect, which is good because it means the company is listening to what we need. Crikey! The F-35 is in its <laughs> natural habitat and is going after its natural prey. That's what that's Chinese. <laughs> Where did that accent come from? That's not a, wasn't Australian. That's not a spoon. This is a spoon. Wow, that's, that's not a spoon. This is a spoon. Right, some missiles are getting through to your ship, Scott. Slightly worried about that. Oh, there's way too much uh -oh. to watch. There's too much to watch, Valley viewers. I, I can't really... Uh, uh, yeah. No. Maybe I should have put the parries up front. I don't know. Too late now. Right, the, screw, the cruiser screen has been penetrated. I don't like it when I'm penetrated. No, you don't. Especially by your cruiser screen. Yeah. Hobart class has failed to do its mission, but then again it was overwhelmed. Hobart class can only carry... Oh! Oh no! Oh, good we positioning! Good positioning, Scott. You did well there. Yeah, we're about to lose a Burke, though. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, that's a hit. Oh, no. You've, you've really? dealt with it, Scott. You've done really well. You've dealt with it. You've dealt wow. with it. You've lost all your SM2s. But, right, I'm going to go and watch the, uh, whatever the hell kind of madness is going on with the stealths. Question, my how do I zoom in on my uh, TV camera? Uh, you have to go and set the command, zoom in, zoom out. Are you in the air to ground variant? Yes, sir. Yeah, that will be an obvious command for it. Stealth yeah, going radar, down, finally. Neither the radar or the EO, You're the uh, J15s detecting the stealth at all. You have to go into guns. You've got an old 80s analog radar in there. Well, I think they have. Problem is, getting close to them is difficult. Yes, it is. There's a very good chance you're going to get trapped by your own guy's missiles. If I was, I would just wait out. They can't damage the ships. I would just wait and let them run the burn the fuel down. Jeez, they are actually closing to where we uh, start. That's problematic. I just saw a lightning get shot down by a sea whiz. I did not think I'd see these things that today, guys. There's one. They're so aggressive. They're actually too aggressive. They're now trying to take on the bloody ships with their guns they're so aggressive australia calm down for god's sake just go back hey, man. aggressive it's, it's killed, killed everything and then just going in trying to annoy the ships which is great viewing don't get me wrong i love a great viewing they're very close oh god they, they have got your spawn position boys yeah they are they're right there and they're not even really dying they're they're most of them are still there they're just so good at dodging. So good at dodging. Well, the missiles and radars can't protect them. They just can't lock on. Well, this valued viewers is good entertainment. Yeah, I think I prefer the thrust vectoring thing we did the other day. <laughs> it feel quite so vulnerable. Yeah. But where are these cheaty? Strines. Nose high now, nose high now. Yeah, Visual. Oh, no. Ron, let's see if you can get a missile at him. No, it's just no lock on at all. It's problematic, boys. I don't think a single J-15 has shot down a single stealth yet. The difference in tech is major. And you are surrounded by AMRAMs. Yeah, there's another one on the way. Yep. The point you're thinking, I can just see one guy, I might just pick him up. The next thing you know is missile at 12 o'clock. Yep, no, there's nothing I can do. Go on, Scott. Go on, Scott. Go on, Scott. Unlucky. Oh, one, one, one at nine o'clock. They'll be out of missiles Shut soon. Up. Try again. Wow, this is really exciting. They're just dogfighting with the ships. Number 35 down. Uh oh. Ow. I hope 
overgene, overgene. Oh, I love a bit of overgene. You know what they're doing? They're, I know what they're doing. They're, they're trying to get rid of all the uh, air defense weapons from the ships. They're trying to run them out of ammo so that we can start harpooning them. And it will work. Oh, boy, it's on your nose. Go, go, go. Still plenty left. Wow! Grump got a missile out on one. Respect! That's, uh, a on a friggin' minutes. stealth fighter. No, didn't track. <laughs> I didn't track. No, I'm just having to home on jam. Gotta go in visually. Wowie. Checking this missile. Second one didn't track. They're not tracking. Dogfight or nothing but the looks of it, boys. What a nightmare for them. Look at this guy. What he's doing, Valid Viewers, is he's trying to get all these guys to fire at him. So that they use all their SeaWiz ammo up. It's very cheeky. Very cheeky. And thus far, it's working pretty well. Apart from the fact he's missing a rear stab, it doesn't seem to be affecting him. Well, we've never seen a battle like this before, guys. Never one this furious. Okay. Oh, the lightnings are running out of fuel. They're turning out. They're turning around, going home. Apart from three. Right. So what we've got is they've just been burning for so long that most of them have now turned around and they're going to fly home. Either land on the carrier or maybe at some weird base here. But they should land at the carrier if they're doing their job right. Yeah. Even this guy's out of fuel. Look. And he still managed to shoot at me then. Ah, I was gone. Yeah, there's a couple. Well, I was. Go on, Grump. Go on, Grump. Go on, Grump. Shoot that son of a... Oh. Wow, none of these Chinese missiles can track. The stealth. And Grump's about to get one in the... F oh, how about that? Look at you, Grump, dodging a missile head on. That's what the fans like. Grump. Merge at the verge. Oh, I have a... Well, I'm damn sure you can see dots. Look at them, not a single missile can hit. Fascinating difference in technology. Grumpling brings all the stealth to the yard. It does. I would hate to be fighting against these Aussies right now. I mean, it's unfair. It's 2010 versus 2030, but still. Well, if it was technically 2030, we'd have the Tempests, but as close as it can be. Whatever these are, fuck I think the escort ships, Chinese escort ships, are out of ammo. I think. I've got a potato for uh, brain. A, uh, F thirty five. Yeah, and, and a brain. Is and it the, yeah, this thing just does not want to fly straight. It's not going to be long before you can probably go in and bomb Scott to be on there. Because Nesov's still firing, but. You've only got one more that's got fuel around you, but, uh, Chinese. Managed to lock onto somebody at last, but it was Grump. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was. Got Smeggy McGee here, just. Man, that carrier has a lot of ammo. No one likes Smeggy McGee. You searching for that guy south, Grump? I was. Now I'm, I'm sure you're, you are clean, but entering the same defense zone. Copy. Yeah, I'm just going to run down a while we's on those ships for yeah. you, because I can't do the air to ground. Yeah, that's what cool. the, uh, I was doing. Uh, Grump's going to be I'm making my way in. Scotty's making his way downtown. Walk up down. He is. He yeah. loves town. Scott loves town. Matrix chasing down a friggin' F-35. He's down below a thousand feet, so it's gonna be hard to pick up. I think the only the only blue red ship with ammo is now the Kuznetsov. But the Owning's are right. Going to be uh, taking away the vertical launch cells on their new flat top, the one that's modeled after the Nimitz. Oh dear. Missed, it didn't track. Oh, he went... God, that's good. That's... Got for a gun to kill, I think. Door range missile. Yeah, that'll get him. That's a heat seeker. First, finally, someone shot a stealth down. You have to get bloody close for the uh, sensor stop. 18 minutes and 30 seconds until they shot one down. But all the rest are out of ammo. All the, all of the stealths okay, are now gone. No, sorry, there's one more. There's one more, but he's miles away. And I think he appears to be bugged because he's just flying around in circles. Angel 26. That's a him problem. 
Wow, guys. What a beginning. 18 minutes of pure... Whatever. Madness and other such stuff. One of the uh, Chinese carriers still has quite a few planes on us, so... Uh -huh. No, they haven't taken oh, off. Oh, Grump, so Grump. Yeah, what you can do, Grump, is you stop that carrier, they'll start taking off again. They've refused to take off because it's turning so hard now. So they've been saving their planes. Was that on purpose or accidental, Grump, by the way? It's not no, they should have been launching. No, uh, stop the carrier, they'll take off. That may be the Chinese are saving. Because their carriers couldn't get... Their planes couldn't be attacked. It's two stealth down. Well done, Matrix, the friggin' stealth killer. Not the easiest thing to do. Yeah, it's about six to two. Dude. You're probably not. So about the same at odds as last week, going up mm -hmm. against the F-22s. This guy doesn't have enough fuel to get back, so he's landed on a freaking neutral base. Does happen. Yup. I was reading about a Jaguar that had to land in Morocco uh, in my book last night because he ran out of fuel on a training exercise, pretending to strafe oh. the Royal Navy. Oh Jesus! You heard about that uh, Harrier that landed on the cargo ship? Uh, did one in in uh, Falklands? I think so. Yeah, yeah they, they, they ended up trying to um, keep it because it landed on their ship. Span it was a Spanish ship, wasn't it? Cheeky to ask. Yep. Yeah, it was a Spanish freighter, but it was a guy called Ian Watson. Oh, and uh, they were on exercise in the Med. Sorry, just in the Atlantic near the Strait of Gibraltar, and he lost all his navigation aids. And uh, the only thing he could find was the El Rego, the freighter. Mm -hmm. So he landed on it. Um, and to be fair to the Ministry of Defence, they did pay salvage. What year was that? Uh, Probably mid eighties. Right, because yeah, I'm reading my 80s. book. The Spanish didn't like us back then because of Argentina. I didn't know that. Still don't like they still don't really like us because they want Gibraltar. Yeah, right. And I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about this because in my book, a uh, Jag pilot out there had to land. He ran out of fuel, emergency, and he would rather ditch in the Med than go to land in Spain. I had no idea about this. I didn't realize Spain was so hostile towards us. But this is things you have to learn from reading. Yeah, relations can be a bit prickly over Gibraltar. Right. Yeah. Awkward, guys. All right. Well, let's get an update anyway. Matrix is uh, back in the game, hunting down some uh, stray F-35s. Grump is back as Admiral, and he's got basically a full air wing of planes still because purely by fluke, they haven't been taken off. And the escort ships are slightly worried about because the elite, and I mean elite Australian Lightning pilots have just worn all their ammo out, which was they're just really clever. And it doesn't come back either, I don't think. No, it doesn't. So it's gone. Uh, F-35s, otherwise RTB. This guy couldn't even make it home, so he's had to park at Spain or Gibraltar or wherever the hell that rock is. This guy here is the, my favourite. He's just flying around in circles down here in the south. He's got a Tasmanian devil stuck in his cockpit. How about that? Plus side, he's got fuel, so he could go and wipe those J-15s out. Scott's back in a air-to-ground variant. That will do damage once they can get... Oh, harpoons are firing. Okay, we're at that time in the day, guys. Harpoons are coming in. They've got harpoons have got about 50 mile range, 60 mile range, whereas the YJs from here have got like 100 mile range. Don't know if it's realistic or why, but that's how it is in game. Uh, I had to send my backups um, in, into the front line for a picket. Roger. These are the Oliver Hazard Perrys, pretending to be the oh, what are they called, guys? Can anyone remember what the eight frigates that Australia has? I've forgot. Azac, Anzac, the Anzacs. I've got eight of these. Oh, the Aztecs. Okay, yeah. Uh, J-15s don't want to launch. I think they're stuck. Ha. Huh. Um, you need to take. You need to come in and strafe the guys at the front that got stuck. They want to damage seriously. They'll disappear and they'll unclog them. Right. Harpoons are on their way. Thirty miles. Wow. The fronts are closing. The fronts now, depending how you measure it, could be only forty-five miles. Which interesting is. Scott, have you lost a destroyer? You have. Yep. Wow, you've lost one of three uh, Australian destroyers that they have. The Hobart. Yeah, the, their oh, um, did missiles job, got through. Did his job, I suppose. Ended up running out, running out of ammo, got overwhelmed by the vampires. Uh, Roy going to have a merge between Matrix and Scott here. Uh, uh -oh. Now, the interesting thing is, Scott is air to ground, but Matrix can't see him. So it's kind of the blind leading the blind here, but it should be interesting. No, I'm going off the, uh, I'm going off the harpoons. Ah, now that is a sensible bit of flying, because they are now have free reign on your destroyers. Interestingly, uh, although Matrix can't see these guys on radar, they can see these guys on radar. Actually, this Scott is not actually stealthy. I've made it so that the air-to-air -air variant, the air-to-ground variant, is not... Um... Huh. Scott sometimes... Yeah. Scott hasn't taken his pills again. <laughs> Sorry. I had, to flag, I had to practice flying my Absolutely. inverted formation. Absolutely.
Uh, I was just saying, valid viewers, these are not just, these are because of the bombs and the pylons Box on them. Three. Uh oh. Ooh, this could be. <laughs> this could. He's not stealthy. He's not. Oh, good dodge. Genuine countermeasure dodge. And another genuine countermeasure dodge. That was just pure skill. Turning cold. Oh, luck. He was fine. Yeah, I'll take luck. Okay, Why? He's damaged. He should. Oh. Human versus human dogfight. Uh oh. Uh, press oh, six. Scott, press six. It'll give you a ball side. The sidewinders. Obviously, he was a pig. Yes, it is. It's an absolute piece of crap. Yeah, I don't see a foresight. Uh, China's replacing them with J35 or whatever they call them now. Uh, we'll just, just try to die peacefully, then Scott. I can't, I can't get the foresight. Or we'll go guns. He's just fine. Oh, for heaven's sake! This thing is such a bus. Shot. Ah. You know when you get the Matrix on you, you know you know it's not going to end well, Scott. Very true. Woo. Good job, Matrix. He even started to tell you about Aubergine at the end. Yeah. Well, it's now six o'clock. What's he done? Hold down. Oh, Armchair came in. Oh, now it's hotting up. He came in for serious Rowen gay. Nice yeah, one, well boys. Done. Nice, cheeky. All right. Things are hot. Make sure oh. you get a screen cap of that. It won't happen very often. Right. Uh, these guys are landing, by the way. Uh, they will not take off again. It's not programmed in DCS to do that. There is a load of stuff going happening. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, damn. Look at all those harpoons coming out. Right, first ones are coming in. Uh, how's your aircraft carry going, Grumptastic? Are they respawned yet? Yes, they're moving. They're moving. Grump's back in action. More importantly, harpoons uh, may actually put Grump out of the game right now. That was a supersonic shipwreck just saw there. Uh, it's an old missile, but actually worryingly good even nowadays. They do worry me about viewers. They're not defending themselves. Okay, the front ones I see we're still. Ah, uh, uh oh. Things are about to end badly for Mr. Grumptastic, I'm afraid. Uh, that was the power of the F-35s, I'm afraid. Well. Yeah, those uh, harpoons are going to make some coral reefs. Yeah, he's out of seawiz. He's out of seawiz. Grump's going broadside to try and release a cannon at the back. I'm not sure it's going to happen in time, though. I can hear other ships blowing up around me. Yeah, good idea, Grump, because you've got those rear-facing cat. Yes, you've got another Sea Wiz engaging now. Okay, we're Sea Wizzing. Yeah, he shot one. Well done. That's good seamanship. You know me, I love my seamen. Yum, yum, and a bottle of rum. Mm hmm Okay, we're in Christian Airsoft's now firing from the back, but I don't know if it's enough. Yep, HQ-9's coming out from the frigate. Ah, oh, the frigates have unreleased some HQ-9s, that's good. Look at that Sea Wiz uh, Grumps unleashed. It is absolutely... It's got one, but can I get the second? Oh, no! Midships, it's a destroyed screws. Uh, that's a destroyed destroyer. Oh, it's all encompassing now, guys. This has been non-stop thrills, thrills, guys. Good shot. Good shot. Still got all the ships. Got to Grump. Oh, there's Grump's body, look. He's run out of Sea Wiz. He's all out of Sea Wiz. He's down. He's a martyr. Okay, it's now equal. Each have lost a single destroyer. Ooh, baby. I was about to say, got you, armchair, but that didn't hit you? No, nah, I seen it. Flew right by me. It was close. F-35, baby. You son of a bitch. New target, armchair. Good luck. Uh, I won't be hard. I'm gonna fly right into you guys, it looks like. Matrix 071 for 15, target, armchair, angels on the deck. Great 
battle, guys. What a great battle. <gasps> oh, but no. There are still some drabs coming through. Most of the harpoon, all the harpoons have been shot now. Coming. That's another hit on a destroyer. That's a 0 at 52C. It's China's best vessel in the game, that is. What the hell was that? That was an F-35 cannon. Oh, Grub's picket line is me. failing. Amram just went right past your head. Two destroyers down. God damn it. Oh! Rowenge! Don't know where that came from, boys. Maybe just I suggest you kill some harpoons and quick. Yeah. Good shot. We got a, sh a lone shipwreck going out and uh, not get oh wow crash into the sea i may have shot it down they, they all look the same right where are we five two b's up zero five a's up and a few missile launches here and there right looks like this guy's got through but on through on what through on what zero five four a Hey, Cap, how do I turn my laser on? Uh, it will do it automatically, so you don't worry about that. Fine. We will need to lock the target, though. Yeah, not a problem. Boom! Shot. Spotting these missiles is very difficult. Yes, it is. Who's it hit? Anyone you can take out is going to be a massive success. Brigger hit. Oh, they still have HQ 16s. Yeah, but they're sporadic as hell. And they're not very effective either. Serious damage done to those, but they're still operational. It's the last of the missiles. Last of the harpoons. That's another harpoon hit. Wow. So at the end of that, there's two more harpoons, or the Matrix might get to them. It's hard to tell. Uh, missile picking, out. Picking them up visually is very difficult. Okay. One more harpoon in the air. One more in the air. Oh, finally, um, the AI J-15 shot. Ooh, AI-15 shot at Scott. Interesting how the AI missiles can... Oh, it doesn't matter. Scratch that. 48 feet. Some, some missiles out. Boom, Smash. dead. Okay, uh, the anti-ship threat is over. Uh, Scott better watch out for a hob. Lucky. Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time, Scotty, too hotty. Uh, Matrix, there is an F-35 on, uh, just period of interest, on a uh, rotor international that can be strafed. That's a valid target. Roger, boss. Right, so, Australia... Oh, God, I keep switching sides about who's winning. Australia has lost how many destroyers? Two. How did the second one get destroyed? Oh, I didn't even notice, because everyone's out of ammo now. Two destroyers down on Australian. China, technically, it's the same. Two destroyers down. It, technically, it's equal, guys. Uh, the Chinese ships are a bit more beat up, but here's the big difference. China has got its uh, planes going back up, and they will be anti... Ha! Ah, they're taking off and crashing into the sea ground. How about that? Right, let's see what this guy does. Uh, right. Did not see this coming, valued viewers. I think there might be two ro uh, lightnings on the rotor. Roger. There appears to be a major IQ problem with the Chinese pilots. Watching? No comment. Same. He's pulled out the sky. He's going to fall out the sky. He's going to fall out the sky. No, he took off. He took off. Okay. Jesus, they are pushing it. They're so heavy and underpowered. Some of oh, them. Oh, and that's their anti ship version. Oh, awkward, man. Right. Matrix is in. Um. Now I can see where they are, I'll have a go. Right, what was I trying to say? Uh, right, yeah, these anti-ship versions will attack the Australian carriers. I'm not sure if the Australia can actually defend itself anymore. No, je pars de... Oh, they're fired! They're fired. Right. Oh, God, it's exciting. Matrix, you have dangerous cl danger close? What it just doesn't feel Arm danger. Armchair evade. Armchair evade. Incoming PL-12. Oh, how 
about that? Can Armchair dodge it? The AI missiles. Oh. Well beaten. Ooh, well, all right. Nice Piece job. Piece of candy. Oh, and he shot him down as well. What an armchair. You got them skills, yo. Here come the Chinese anti-ship missiles, and these promise to wreak havoc. And they're all taking off now. They're all taking off because that's off. They're, they're unleashed. Ooh. I are excited. Armchair, you have Grump in the air. Chair Fox 3. Bearing 280 for 2-9. Right, let's see how human missile does. J15. Good luck taking out Grump Link. Grump has Tally. You also have Matrix to your left. For six miles. Okay. 252. You also have two incoming from Grump. Oh. They, they set you up. That's a pincer. That's a classic pincer from the boys. That's experience, Valley viewers. He's dead. Well done. Yes, he very much is dead. That was a good trap. Very oh, dead. Damn it, Jim. Flash eight it's a shame we didn't crash on those parked F 35s. Uh, that's funny. There's a couple of parked F 35s if you want to strafe their grump. Yeah, they're, they're not easy to destroy. They seem to be. Uh, Made of common armor when on the ground. Yep, I hate that. Yeah, that's so right. annoying. You can just keep them grounded, that's about it. Okay, more more missiles going out, look. Oh, Australia! Here comes your doom, I'm afraid. Oh, and he had a freaking Cobra nearly. Crazy bloody I still got the SM2s. Good, because they are from your picket line. 20 miles now. If I were a China man, Chinese man, I would go and try and drain them them SM2s, but as I'm politically neutral, you've still got an AI up in the air. After 40 minutes, you've got an AI up in the air. What is he doing? He's coming in for a landing. Oh, SM2's out. You're right, Scott. The uh, uh, Aztacs or whatever they're called, they're still SM2s. Well, that's some good, that's some good admiraling there, Scott, because you sacrifice your cruisers as you need to, and you've replaced them with frigates. You're keeping your carrier safe. That's good play. But now I'm uh, up against both Grump and Matrix. Yep. That is a problem. Got the boys coming in. Yep, and they're locking on now. Overgene, Overgene. Overgene. Dodging that one, Scotty. But he ain't dodging that one. Scott's going to get himself in trouble. He's been hunkering around with this, um, with his bombs, trying to get some bombs on target. But he never gets a chance because the boys shoot him down every time. Oh, hey, give have... me a chance, guys. Come on. I do have to say, as usual, it is very much a Scott problem. That they've pincered him again. Poor, poor Scott. Ran straight into the pincer. Oh, bless his cotton socks, guys. There he is. I'm watching. Good dodge. Ow! You got him. There's Scotty. Right, all of the missiles are taken out, Scott, so on the plus side. We got more coming in. Yes, you have. I'm not entirely sure they're not out of... Uh, yeah, go ahead and now. attack. Crump's doing a thing. Oh, Crump fired, got fired out by Rim. How about that? Love a good Rim. No, they do have SM2s. SM2s are active. From the advice of species of Northern Australia mm -hmm. is about to get wiped off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Which accent is that? I'm not sure either. Welsh? I was trying to do Australian, but I don't know. Oh, the Chinese have, have, have done a, a wild card. They've slipped a couple of missiles through the screen and they're firing at the carriers and they are on the way to the carriers. As tax to do it. I see him. Firing F 35, I'll prioritize getting these rogue YJs. Heli 35. Good dog fight, boys. Good overshoot F 35. The value just promises to be problematic for the Australians. Top woman. It's all set for you, uh... No, it's just, uh... One of the Chinese from making more bitch and betty is. 
Yeah, they do that. I'm out of SM2s using SeaWiz. Uh oh. Go by destroyer, Scott. Served its purpose. Served its purpose. It did. And I. Oh, God, crap. Too much going on now. Make sure you see him. Got flares out. Maneuver kill. Maneuver kill. Hey, well done, boys. Woo! All right, go back in. I've slipped another couple of swines through. Oh, do still have some SM2s, all right. Yeah, that's sporadic. Those, those, those are not modern Aegis things. They're old, they're old. They're after you, Crumb. 80s uh, frigates. It takes three minutes to reload. Oh, you guys are attacking the carriers. Well done. That's, that's really clever work, guys. It will re release the YJ so they can get in. Look at the boys. Chinese are flying so smart today. I don't often praise them, as they know. Here's our first anti-ship missile coming through on the carrier. One for a face plant, I think. Right over the tower with. That YJ's going to miss. Yeah, that YJ's gone nuts because China? Question mark? But we got uh, foreign trail that uh, look like they're going to Kamikaze! Hit on. Huh. How about that? I hate it how the game does that. It's that really frustrating. That is going to hurt. China really pushing in now. Really being aggressive. Last J-15's taken off. Last, yep. Last oh, J this one's going to miss too. Dumb, stupid missiles. Why do they do it? They're all going for the ship that's sunk. I hate it how when they do that. Oh, but they're going after my damaged parry with one. They are, Scott. He's got a Sea Wiz. He's got a Sea Wiz. It's out of ammo. It's out of ammo, Scott. Mm. Boom. Sunk my battleship. ship. Oh, man. This be excite or something. These stupid ones. Okay, it looks like they're all going for the tower. Something's well, you think that, but they're all actually going for a destroyer that sunk five minutes ago. No, yeah, they're, they're turning towards stupid. the tower. Oh. Well. If Taro still has its sea whizzes, they are dumb asses. There is no doubt about that. That was a waste of Chinese firepower. That's just bad programming, and I don't know why they do it. Turn, you bastards. Turn. They wouldn't do this in real life, by the way. Valued viewers, they have active radar. They would pick up stuff on their radar. They wouldn't go for a ship that's gone. Defense from the parry. Oh, it flew past the parry. It flew past the freaking, and it's it's gone ballistic. I have not seen that before ever. I don't know where it's going now. Oh know. god, we just had missile after missile after missile. Yep, China is freaking insatiable. Uh oh, this could hurt. This could hurt, Scott. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not oh. going to make it round. It's not going to make it round. That's going to crash. Well, hey! Who are ya? Who are ya? Wow. Well, we got four coming in on that parry on the northern. Yeah. It's gone such Was a switch. missile room. out? It is, but it's, they're so. They're so drained that they're only they're fighting so one at a time. And they're crap anyway. Yes. Right. Well, I don't know where these are going for, Scott. Uh, I think they're going for the carrier. Yeah, we thought the last 20 were going for the carrier. <laughs> Come on, missile. Come on, missile. Come on, SM2. Oh, you suck. Oh, my God. Things worse than a Patriot. Yeah, I used to radar on the ship this crap. Crappy old, uh, crappy old non aegis radar. The missile's fine. You got one! Scott, you got one. Well done. Yeah. Wow. Matrix 088 
Right, they are tracking uh, the carriers this time, so let's see if anything gets through. A little worry. Terminal attack profile. Matrix intercept profile is going to be uh, 065. 065. And say range? Come on, see whiz. Uh, 10 065. Come on, see whiz. You do got good see whiz on that with a lot of ammo. There it goes, come on. One right. down. Two down. Headroom him like monkey pox. One got through. Yep. It been monkey pox. That is a damaged carrier. That is a damaged carrier. Poor old score. Poor Aussies. Come on, see uh, Wiz. Do something. Uh, Oh, see which one the other carrier's trying to take oh, it out. God. <laughs> this is getting desperate, Scott. This is getting yeah, desperate. Not work. Boosh. Boosh. One got hit. Oh, it took the goddamn planes off the bow. Holy that crap. was painful to watch, Scott. Oh, it's on fire! One of the Australian cameras is on fire. And it's basically dead. O M G. Oh, and you've lost a Anzac as well. Man, things get sexy at this point. Scott. Sexy for my ships. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Past this dogfight, I'm afraid... I mean, you can fight on if you want, but yeah. you've only got half a carrier and a... Why don't you charge that loss? Oliver has a parry in. It's obviously you've lost. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just then, trying to use it as a flanker and right then now. Taro was going to exit the board afterwards and just... Uh, uh, run away if they can if they can i don't know if they can god that was 53 minutes of pure pow 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 Poor armchairs doing a last attack can he do a thing can he do a thing matrix oh one. Shot from. the boys are getting good at taking the stealths down now check out how far this hazard parry is leaning during this turn oh he really is listing not listing that is rolling it really is rolling Listening. I'm listening. Ooh, 87,000 feet for these PL-12s. They are going so much oh, fast. Oh, are they going for that uh, um, AWACS? That would be a bit late now, but I, no, no, they're at 90,000 feet. Right, valued viewers. Uh, it's the death throes of the Australian. I really thought the Australians would win this. You know, they've got the tech. They've got all the tech yeah, there. Yeah, same here. But oh, you just never know which way it's going to go. Can you move those tower was off the board from my OCD? Uh, who are you, Scott? If you can. Off the board? Yeah, move yeah. them off the board. Big uh, bin grump. Gas there is. Hmm? Oh, good. I don't know how much gas I have. Ah, uh, true. Fun. I guess I'll just hear fuel 500 in the middle. You've got 70 pound warheads on those missiles. You might do some damage. It's only a 8,000, no, 4,000 ton uh, words. Brigitte. Words. Mm hmm. Overrated. Uh, missile out. Yeah, my tower was are not moving at all. All oh, right. Uh, tell you what it is, Scott. They're in the same group, and one's <laughs> one can't move. They're in the same uh, group, and one can't move. Matrix fired a grump, I think. <laughs> That's yep. problematic. I was trying to say anything. They are moving. I was the AWACS. They're both moving very slowly. Can they work their way in and get this all of us? Grumps on the same line as the AWACS. I was firing the AWACS. Nice work. Oof. I don't think he's going to dodge this one. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fantastic! Oh, ah. Oh. Engage defensive. Come on. Can I use an anti-ship? How do I do that with this? I don't know. There's an anti-ship with anti-ship missiles, and there's bombs, and I don't know how you use it either. So... That is all. Uh, probably just set the one with bombs. That probably will work. Matrix. Oosh. Oosh. Boom. Got that missile off, though. I think I've died enough times today. Yeah. Uh, do you concede Scotty too hotty? Yeah, I concede. Scotty concedes wisely. Obviously, these destroyers would kill that guy and then would go on and kill these. 
And there's not much point in really continuing. Well done, China! Um, uh, Matrix and Grump, you did some good play there. I really thought you would lose because the F-35s at the beginning were so mega aggressive. And they yeah. just drained your thing. But then a series of good things happened to you after that point, including your guys not taking off until after the F-35s had come off. So that I don't know if that was a bit of luck or what, but it worked, right? It worked, yeah. So, yeah, Chinese. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting at all, guys. Not what I was expecting at all. Really interesting. Uh, any further comments from me, my boys? Actually, yeah, I think that that was brilliant of them. You know, mm -hmm. if they had gone up with all the all the F-35s, they would have just been decimated. Mm -hmm. So if it wasn't for um, that happenstance, you know, they would have lost. Yep, that was entirely unintentional. I did not, I didn't know that they uh, got caught up there. Yeah. It wasn't until the cap brought that up that they weren't launching. I was like, oh, okay. It's very difficult to t detect the F-35s. They had a massive advantage to start with, and it's only because we oh, could yeah. respawn that we uh, we were able to shoot a few down. Yeah, I know yeah. the F-35s had an advantage because I got some kills. Yep. <laughs> Lols. All right, guys. And this, is, uh, this, this is almost like Midway, but in reverse, where um, mm -hmm. the Japanese ended up having to switch over their uh, armament, and it ended up screwing them. But in this case, the uh, Chinese, you know, um, by technically doing the same thing, it actually helped. Right. That was some excellent playing from all of you. Well, there's nothing else to say there. Well done. And we'll see you guys later. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.